Yoel Romero is no longer with the UFC Ariel Halwani tweeted Yoel Romero's UFC, the run has come to an unexpected end Romero, and the promotion have parted ways Romeo's manager Maki Kawa, also confirmed he is no longer under contract with the UFC. According to sources Romero had three fights left on his deal his manager told ESPN, while we didn't expect Romero's time in the off to end like this, we are grateful for the opportunities Dana White Hunter Campbell and Mick Maynard gave him over the years he's ready to move on now and resume his career, and we're already talking to other promotions as we speak, so what do you think's next for Yol? Surprise news yesterday with the release of UL Romero. Can you explain to us what what happened there? Why why UL is no longer with the UFC? Well, it, it's it, it's not just you. I mean, we're going through we're, we're going to go through some serious cuts here at the end of the year. Probably going to have 60 cuts coming up before the first of the year. Um, and UL is is uh, lost four of his last five. He's 44 years old. Um, you know, our, our roster is very inflated right now. We're gonna have some big cuts coming before the end of the year. You're gonna see a lot of, a lot of names going here in the next uh, several weeks. So with UL, just it's that simple. I mean, I think people were saying, was there some weird negotiations happening, oh, no. or was there something with USADA or anything like that? Nothing like that. No, we we're just literally starting to go through the list, and you know, he's 44. He's lost four of his last five, and um, you know, these are the tough decisions you got to make. Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier are scheduled to fight at UFC 257 on January 23. Khabib Nurmagomedov in an interview reveals why he has no interest in fighting either of them. He went on to say what for I choked both. Why should I do this? There is no sports interest there. I choked both of them. Both were champions. Both surrendered to me. As our proverb says a horse doesn't run until the donkey wins donkeys don't even take part in competitions where horses run i have no interest in fighting against these opponents imagine ufc offered you 100 million this is already a problem but there is no sports interest there Charles Oliveira talks about his upcoming fight with Tony Ferguson. The two are scheduled to fight on December 12 at UFC 256. Charles says that if he beats Tony there's no way he's not the number one contender. He told MMA Fighting it's very clear whoever wins this fight is the next title contender I have to stay focused and concentrated. He was coming off 12 wins in a row and I think he made a mistake against Justin Gaethje so we can't make mistakes in that winning this fight, I'll be the next challenger, no doubt 7 wins in a row at the moment, it will be 8 after this, and I don't plan on leaving it in the judges hands, it will be 8 finishes in a row, there's no way I have to wait, I'm the next challenger. Two-time Olympic boxing gold medalist, current pound-for-pound pound queen, according to most pundits, and new PFL signee, Clarissa Shields, stopped by the famed Jackson Wing Gym today to train with the team. She isn't an official member of the squad just yet, I'm told, but it's possible she will join them in the future. She is expected to make her MMA debut in 2021. Anthony Smith discusses the tough year he's had in MMA at the beginning of 2020. Smith suffered a TKO loss to Glover to share he then fought Alexander Rakic and lost via unanimous decision after picking up a win over Devin Clark this past weekend. Smith says that it's nice to show everybody that he's still in this. He told MMA fighting's been really tough, I don't want to pretend that my struggles are worse than the rest of the world because the rest of the world is struggling too, but personally, it's been really tough, it's like one struggle after another it started kind of with the Alexander Goose Gustafsson thing, had an incredible performance that I was really proud of, and I break my hand really bad, and I end up having a second surgery, and they use my leg to help fix my hand, like when does that happen, I didn't even know that was a thing, but it took a lot longer than we thought to get back the pandemic hits, then stuff at the house, and then this fight goes. 
awful then I rush right back to try to right the ship and obviously that didn't go my way my family got covered 3 weeks ago and I was out of the gym for a week and a half because my family had coveted then my two corners who have been with me since 2008 tested positive on their pre-departure coping test so the first time I haven't had those guys with me since oh I don't know I just tried to put my head down and grind forward but it was a really tough year it just felt really good to get that monkey off my back I know a lot of people had a bunch of questions about where I was so instead of talking about it the whole time it's nice to just show everyone I suppose.